to the golf capital of Pennsylvania. Montgomery County. At one time, in this little tiny county, there were 60 golf courses. Now down closer to 50. However, still plenty of golf and still many other things to do in this county. We're gonna tell you about all of the new golf courses. You'll see what I mean, as well as some of the other experiences. We'll tell you about cheesesteaks in Montgomery County and some many other foods that you may not find anywhere else in America. All of this on the latest episode of The Traveling Golf. One moment changes everything. Distance, precision, decided in a microsecond. So reduce your ball spin and get the most performance at impact with four yards more. A next-gen golf tee proven by pros and players like you. The unique durable design flexes at contact, reducing ball spin, giving you tighter control and more distance. So change your game and get four yards more. Brought to you by Greenkeepers. Golf smart. You don't have to go away to get away. Go and explore. Find the small businesses that make where you live a community. When you dine, choose homemade. On a free weekend, discover the great outdoors. And if it's brewed here, enjoy it with friends. Support small for an experience you won't find anywhere else. Make it local, make it Main Street, make it Motco. Flight by Yingling is raising the bar by crafting the next generation of light beer. With only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories, this is premium refreshment six generations in the making. Flight by Yingling. Raise the bar. It screams. It tracks. It's soft. It reacts. It is the Bridgestone Tour B with a game-changing reactive cover designed to spring faster off your driver and stick longer to your wedges. Try Bridgestone's Tour Bs. The Tour Ball reinvented. Beautiful 18th hole of Ravensclaw Golf Club in the backdrop. We have Samantha Cummins. Associate Director of Public Relations for the Valley Forge Tourism and Convention Board. And they're all smiling there yes. because you're, <laughs> you're in the midst of a golf boom. We sure are, and thank you for having me. Um, you know, growing up in the area, I was always aware of the amazing history of golf in Montgomery County. We have famous courses like Marion, Philadelphia Country Club, Philadelphia Cricket Club, but it really is one of the oldest golf areas in the country. We are here today at the beautiful Ravensclaw Golf Club, and we are just so thrilled to see all of our golf courses busy as ever, having booming record sales, and, and they're obviously their golf courses, but that trickles into their pro shops, their restaurants, and even the surrounding restaurants across our county as well. So golf in Montgomery County is really dynamic, and that is what, what really fits into the dynamic nature of the county. It really is a symbiotic relationship. Golf, along with the other businesses, and that's what Valley Forge Tourism and Convention Board is involved with boosting the business of the entire county. And of course, folks, if you want to learn more about what there is to do in Montgomery County, not just golf, but everything else, Valley Forge Tourism and Convention Board is the place to go. Your website? Valleyforge.org. And on our website, you can select Monco Golf and learn all about the, the beautiful golf in Montgomery County. Or the restaurants, or the shopping, yep. or the hotels. And <laughs> the list goes on and on. Yeah, really, they're in the middle of all of it. Samantha, thanks for coming out and talking a little bit of golf. Of course, thank you. Right here in Montgomery County. Santino Chicaglione, the king of the roast pork sandwich in Montgomery County for many years. His Cezano's restaurant now based at Ravensclaw Golf Club. Tell us about the roast pork sandwich. We're just, the sandwich is just the beginning. You start the pork, you add the sharp provolone, and you add a little bit of the broccoli raw with the garlic in it and top it with a nice long get down and hot salute. 
That's why he's king of the Roseport Sound. Ed Sheeran, golf course architect at Ravensclaw, and Ed, golf is alive again. Well, it's really come back storming, Tony, and it's based on the fact that anybody, no matter their age, sex, or ability, can have a great time in the afternoon playing golf. We're happy to have everybody back. And even the old courses are new. We were able to embrace the history um, and the traditions of Meadowlands, because that was greatly important to club culture. And from that, we were able to develop and say, how do we want to go forward? And now today, uh, we, have a very, we have a full membership with a waiting list, uh, but 50% of our membership is under 40 years of age. And that was the critical part of our game plan, entering into uh, Montgomery County. We are at one of the newest country clubs in all of Montgomery County, Bluestone Country Club, new. An old new country club. The old Meadowlands went back to the 1950s. It was bought from the members by a private entity and now Bluestone since 2016. Many, many new features to this. All of this, as I said, comes under a new ownership. An ownership that has a bit of a history in the food side of Montgomery County. Uh, they have a little restaurant down the street that I think a few people may have heard of. Uh, Blue Bell Inn. So the interesting part of the history here is that the town was actually renamed after the landmark, the Blue Bell Inn, which still resides at the, uh, the inn today. And that restaurant, as I said, fine dining, indoors, a huge outdoor area, very active place. And it's part of an incredible culinary scene in Montgomery County. We're going to talk a lot more about in this show from one end of the spectrum all the way to the other. History lesson. It's not tomato pie. It's tomato pie. Tomato pie as in the famous Port Police tomato pie made since 1924 in Montgomery County. Joe Port Police, for those people around the country and around the world that are saying, what is a tomato pie? What makes it different from a pizza? Obviously, there's not melted cheese on top. Never no melted mozzarella cheese. cheese. No way. We sprinkle a little uh, Romano cheese on top. It's fermented a lot longer than a regular pizza. Wow, made, sits there, Yes. cooks in the oven, comes out piping hot, you serve it on the table. No, you no, eat it cold. No, 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 no. <laughs> Room temperature. Room temperature. How about that? Let the party Begin, the Corp Police tomato pie is here. Donald Ross, early 1900s, Lulu Country Club. However, everything else is new. This clubhouse reopened in 2019 after a devastating fire. The clubhouse that they built is absolutely amazing all kinds of amenities, a lively bar, a wraparound 360 degree deck, and an incredible view of this old classic Donald Ross golf course that has so many memorable holes. This is really a step back in time out there and the most modern of clubhouses inside, Scar Lounge simulators to hit right across the hall from the bar itself the grill room lulu country club literally has risen from the ashes and now gives members one of the liveliest country club experiences in all of montgomery county lulu country club old but new while shooting the Traveling Golfer television show, accommodations provided by the beautiful Marriott, Philadelphia West, so close to Conshohocken, Valley Forge, and Philadelphia. Hi, I'm Matt Neely, Vice President of Product Development at Tor Edge Golf. 
With the 722 lineup and every new product launch, we're given the incredible opportunity to build upon our past successes and failures to create new and exciting products to bring to the marketplace. With that opportunity comes a lot of pressure to create product that is actually better than the ones that came before it. That process involves the creation and iteration of multiple product lines, iterating and improving until we have a product that fits all of our criteria. The final output requires a lot of boxes to be checked before we consider our job done. When looks, feel, and performance all match up with our expectations, there's no better feeling in the world. It's not all sunshine and roses, though. Along the way, we end up with a lot of failed prototypes. A lot of great ideas on paper that really end up being complete failures in practice. If I could walk you through our R&D library, you'd see a lot of things that would make you turn your head or perhaps even walk away from golf altogether. But with every failed prototype comes some great learning about what to do and what not to do. And if we aren't failing, then we aren't pushing the envelope far enough. With 722, you'll get the chance to see some of these successes. A well-rounded product lineup capable of fitting a wider array of golfers that is, in my opinion, our best product launch ever. But just know that somewhere at Tor Edge headquarters, there's a box full of failures. Are you an E or a C? Both have Ridgeback. These are loaded with tech. Which one are you gaming? Definitely E for me. It's just so forgiving. I'm definitely an E. C is for Cheka. What else? C is for kill it. C is me. Low spinning bombs. So, are you an E or a C? Hmm. I don't know. Hey, wait a minute. Pound for pound, nothing comes close. At Yingling, we've been brewing great beer that brings people together for nearly two centuries. Wherever good times happen, Yingling Traditional Lager has been there and will be for the next round. Yingling, to good times ahead. Golfers, we're different. We aren't afraid to go for it. We're dedicated. And we never stop. Not every place gets us, but one does. Myrtle Beach, 78 courses, 60 miles of beach. You could say we were made for each other. The beach gets golfers. Golfers get the beach. Book your Myrtle Beach golf getaway today. Imagine a golf ball with the grip of a tire. Well, that's what you get with Bridgestone's new E12 Contact. Because the new Contact Force Dimple uses contact science technology similar to Bridgestone's high-performance tires. Engineered to create 38% more contact and impact. For more distance and control, try Bridgestone's new E12 Contact. Straight distance, driven by science. Main Street, Montgomery County. Now Main Street, Conshohocken, maybe the shining star of all of the main streets in the county, Samantha Cummins. It's great to be with you here on the rooftop bar at, if you're in Conshohocken, you know the Great American Pub. And great it is. This is actually one of very few rooftop bars that we have here in Montgomery County. And Conshohocken really just speaks to the Main Street campaign that we have. Make it Main Street of Montgomery County. It is an entire campaign and it really just shines a spotlight on all of the main streets across Montgomery County, from Ambler to Conshohocken, where we're at today, to Pottstown, and everywhere in between. And you can visit MakeItMainStreet.com to explore all of our main streets and all of our small towns that really make up the entire county. We say make it local, make it Main Street, make it Monco. Make it Main Street, make it Main Street Conshohocken, and make it Main Street, the great American pub. You'll see why it's so great. This rooftop bar is incredible. And below that is a bustling restaurant that really is the heartbeat of Conshohocken. In 1973, Dominic Gambone and family opened a small bakery in Conshohocken. Many years later, five times the original size, automated, computerized, they make the bread and rolls that they ship all through Southeast Pennsylvania. Next one and make the bread. And it's not just bread, it is the beautiful bread that Montgomery County loves. 
and cannoli. March of 2021, the newest golf course came to Montgomery County, Pennsylvania, Union League, Liberty Hill. We have head golf professional Matt Walbert with us. Amazing holes on this property that we have to talk about because right here in Montgomery County, we have the Great Wall of China, or at least that's what it looks like, that enormous stone wall that's right, 16 out there is, uh, looks intimidating off the tee for those that might miss it right, but uh, there's plenty of room out there once, once you actually uh, poke the drive out over that wall. We're going to see how good of a head golf professional you are because I'm going to ask you the key question of this interview. On that hole, all those giant boulders that were brought in from a quarry at Penn State, how many are there on that hole? 7,412. <laughs> he did not even hesitate and you live by my rule. Don't ever let the facts get in the way of a great story. <laughs> We've got another iconic food from Montgomery County. Franzone's Pizza. Pizza? Everybody has pizza. You never tasted pizza like this. The reason this is iconic Sweet sauce pizza, people never tasted anything like it. How did that come about? The sweet sauce came from my grandfather and his mom, and they decided let's go with something sweet, let's go with something fun, and they came up with something that who doesn't like something sweet. All right, let's make a Franzone's pizza. And you're gonna get my golf swing just as smooth as that squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> we sure hope so. And here comes one out. Look at this thing steaming hot. And look at that that perfect swirl there. It's a different pizza, but I'm telling you right now, it's like none you ever tasted. Franzone's Pizza, a staple. And while you're here, you got to check out their sports bar because it is a blast. One of my favorite places to watch a game. Off. We're bigger than life. Main Street, Collegeville. Well, we take a little departure from the food of Montgomery County to the golf apparel of Montgomery County. We have Steve Hoffman. He is the founder of Boston Scott Golf, a brand that emerged in 2018 and has exploded through the golf industry. And you're a native of right in the area here in Montgomery County. Yep, right in uh, Skipback, right down the street. That. Yep, grow well, up local. Well, I'll tell you right now, folks, not only is it a good fit, it is a good feel. You don't have to iron these. They <laughs> look great all the time. Absolutely. Amazing showroom here right Thank in you. Collegeville. Folks, Main Street, Montgomery County is now Main Street America, Boston Scott Golf. Tradition at its best. Golf lives right here in Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. Home to the most historic top ranked clubs in the country. More than 50 courses and over 300,000 yards of green. With nearly 80 nearby hotels, incredible attractions and dining options. It's clear Montgomery County isn't just a place to play golf. It's a destination. Stay and play in Montgomery County. Book your tee time now at montcogolf.com. One moment changes everything. Distance, precision, decided in a microsecond. So reduce your ball spin and get the most performance at impact with four yards more. A next-gen golf tee proven by pros and players like you. The unique durable design flexes at contact, reducing ball spin, giving you tighter control and more distance. So change your game and get four yards more. Brought to you by Greenkeepers. Golf smart. Golfers, we're different. We aren't afraid to go for it. We're dedicated. And we never stop. Not every place gets us, but one does. Myrtle Beach, 78 courses, 60 miles of beach. You could say we were made for each other. The beach gets golfers. Golfers get the beach. Book your Myrtle Beach golf getaway today. Time 
to make a proper cheesesteak with Salmoki at Phil's Tavern. How do you do it? All right, so first we take a nice ribeye, slice down daily, just throw a nice heaping on there, 10 to 12 ounces for a cheesesteak. And I want you to get your two spatulas right there, and I want you to break it down with me like this. Two spatulas, two spatulas. Yes, we got them going. Separate. Bring them down. Separate. American cheese. And you, you cook that right in there with Right on top of there. Fried onions, mushrooms, sweet peppers. Fried onions would be good. Yes, sir. Take a little fried onions out of here. Mix it right on top of there. Get it with some chop. Fold it in. Just fold it in together like that. Making a cheese thing. Yes, sir. So it's tavern style. All right, now we're going to grab our 10-inch corporate rolls. Fresh made every day, delivered in the morning. All right, we're going to put it on the roll for you. We're going to add sauce to it. And we are ready to go. Look at that cheesesteak. We're with Roseanne Lapio, general manager for Sal Lapio Golf Management Company. Three properties, two here in Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. Right here, beautiful Bella Vista Golf Club in Gilbertsville. Three properties, that's a lot on your plate, but the handle, the numbers, that you've not had in a long time. What's the increase been like? So in 2020, we were up 40%. Wow. Um, so it changes everything. You don't run an operation the same when it's 40% more volume. Golf in Montgomery County is strong right now. I, I don't see it changing anytime soon. Over the years, you've seen a lot of great shots from the traveling golfer. Here's a little different one. Oh yeah! Main Street, Montgomery County. Main Street, Skipac. An amazing village that has gone through a transformation that should be the poster child for small towns across America. We have one of their most prominent residents with us right now, David Casanelli. He is the Chief Operating Officer of Yingling Brewery up in Pottsville but he lives here in Skipac, and this has been home for you for a while. Born and raised and never left, and I commute every day north, so I, I won't leave the area. I'm, uh, I'm a local and I'm gonna stay a local. We're sitting in the Time Out Sports Bar, which is just one of the many different venues all up and down. Volini across the street is their sister property, an Italian restaurant. Yeah, we're lucky. We're blessed in this area. You know better than anybody. I mean, we have some great golf locally, and you know, as I said, you used to have to drive a long way to get a good meal. Now, locally, we're in an area where you can get anything you want, and you don't have to go that far. All I can say is Dave Castanelli from Yingling Brewery. It is an honor and a pleasure Always to sit, with you too. have a cold Yingling with you right here in Skipback. Pennsylvania, Main Street, Skipback. Cheers. We are at the 1912 Club, which from 1912 to 2018 was Plymouth Country Club. And we have Chuck Caparo, virtually a lifetime member at Plymouth, who also served 12 years as club president transformation is unbelievable. Unbelievable is the word for it to me. This doesn't even look like the old golf course, you know, and uh, used a lot of the same routing basically. And first of all, he flip-flopped the nines. And now and where, the, where the 18 green formerly was is now the first tee box. I and like the change with number 18, the old number nine, yep. coming back up to the clubhouse. It's that long rise up there. So, you know, if you've members want to come out and watch somebody come in they get the whole effect of whatever mess they're going to make out of that right. hole absolutely <laughs> <laughs> and it's and, and it's still a very challenging hole. So i think one thing one good really really good thing that ownership and the new and the superintendent uh, have done here is they firmed up this golf course to play like it used to play 
way back when and widen the fairways to give you more room to hit it. The thing is, is that you get some roll on the ball now. And with some of these longer holes, it really helps. This place is really shaping up to be a, a real premier golf course in, in Montgomery County. All right, the 1912 Club. Original William Flynn design, now redesigned, serving the community better. Lou and Charlie Alba keeping the family tradition going at Lou's sandwich shop in Norristown for all of the years since 1941. And they make a sandwich that you can only get in Norristown, Pennsylvania, Montgomery County. It's called a Zep. Not a hoagie. Right. A Zep. Short description, a hoagie without lettuce. Right. Maybe? Okay. Yeah, right. Let's go, up. Charlie. We're going to make them together, you and me. Right. How's it start? Right. A little bit of oil. Oil. I got the oil. I got the oil. Provolone. Cooked salami. Notice it's on a round roll, not a hoagie roll. Look at those tomatoes. Thick slice of onion. A little bit of salt. Don't forget the oregano. And a little bit of oil on top. And if you like hot peppers, you put a little bit of that on there. That's Spices good. it up. That had the hot peppers. That's it. All right. Good. There you have a Zep. That's Only it. found in Norristown, Montgomery County. Don't call it a hoagie. It is something totally different. They make the long ones also, but the original round roll Zep. The Alba Brothers here at Lou's. At the end of a very busy show from Montgomery County, Pennsylvania, it's time to sit back and relax. But even relaxing, there's still plenty to do in Montgomery County. We hope you got a good eyeful of not only all of the golf, but all of the lifestyle in this very busy county, the golf capital of Pennsylvania. We thank all of our hosts who put this together, many, many hosts, and we say to you, we hope to see you somewhere else down the golf trail with the traveling golf.